Today, we've got a story that's making headlines across continents. Buckle up, because we're diving into the drama surrounding Harry and Meghan's recent tour in Nigeria. It all started innocently enough, a royal couple embarking on a goodwill tour of Nigeria. But little did they know, their journey would ignite a firestorm of controversy. Prince Harry and Meghan Markle, after their delightful reception during their trip to Nigeria, are planning more royal-style tours this year. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex visited Nigeria for three days last week, where they promoted mental health initiatives and the Invictus Games, a sporting event founded by Prince Harry for wounded military veterans. Their warm welcome in Nigeria has sparked speculation about future international engagements, and the couple is considering more African adventures and other global destinations. During their visit, they met with military leaders, injured soldiers, and school children, all of whom welcomed them with smiles and enthusiasm. The Sussexes now have other trips planned for the remainder of the year and may even return to Africa for more tours superscript one. In Nigeria, they visited the Lightway Academy, a school supported by their Archwell Foundation, which trains young girls affected by conflicts. They also visited the local charity Giants of Africa, which empowers young people through basketball. At a fundraiser for Nigeria's wounded soldiers, related to Harry's Invictus Games, they unveiled a partnership between the organization and their Archwell Foundation. The couple was hosted at the Lagos State Government House, where Meghan received another handwoven Nigerian fabric. Harry expressed his excitement about including Nigeria in the Invictus Games and described Africa as a very special place superscript one. Their commitment to their causes and meeting people at the heart of their work continues to drive their travels. Prince Harry and Meghan Markle have a deep affinity for Africa, demonstrated by their third date in Botswana in 2016 and Harry's subsequent proposal with a Botswana diamond. They celebrated Meghan's 36th birthday with a royal tour of South Africa, Botswana, Angola, and Malawi in 2019. However, their recent trip to Nigeria, styled after royal tours, has drawn criticism. Some experts claim the visit is a defiant statement of their refusal to step down as working royals. The brief visit has reportedly upset the Duke of Sussex's family, particularly King Charles and Prince William, who are said to be absolutely furious. The trip included all the hallmarks of an official royal visit, such as receptions and visits to schools, charities, and injured soldiers, which some say is an attempt by Harry and Meghan to maintain the image of active royals, much to the chagrin of William and King Charles. Commentators have suggested that the couple has gone rogue, acting independently of the royal family. It's as though they are asserting their autonomy, indicating they don't require royal approval to undertake their activities. Despite appearances, the Sussexes' visit to Nigeria was a private affair, undertaken at the invitation of the country's military and not arranged by the UK government, as confirmed by sources within the UK's Foreign and Commonwealth Office. But while Harry and Meghan quit as senior royals in 2020, their visit had various similarities to foreign trips undertaken by working members of the royal family. Royal expert told Chatterbox that although the couple were on a private visit by two royal personages, they exploited their royal status to the very limit and in every way, trying to give the impression that it was the real thing. He said that although the Sussexes' trip wasn't a state visit, an official visit, or a royal tour, it seemed like a tour proposed by Buckingham Palace and sanctioned by the British government. Thanks for watching, guys. Leave your thoughts in the comments section below. And please do not forget to hit the subscribe button and turn on notification bells.